the last video lesson, you made an argument about the development of early farming societies, and we saw that with the introduction of new tools, efficiency and production both increased. The long-term result of these transformations was the rise of the first cities and civilizations in the valleys of major river systems such as the Nile in Egypt, the Yellow River in China, and the Tigris and Euphrates in Mesopotamia, or present-day Iraq. The most recently discovered of these river valley civilizations is in present-day Pakistan and India. Today we call it the Indus River Valley Civilization. It's also the most mysterious because, as with some of my students, the writing has not yet been deciphered. As a result, historians rely on archaeological evidence to piece together the results of this civilization. In this lesson, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to use artifacts discovered at some of these cities and make an argument about the society. And unlike the argument you made in the first video, which rested on only one piece of evidence, this time you'll use multiple pieces of evidence, making your claim more robust and probable. Before we begin, let's check out the excavation site. The first city, Harappa, in present-day Pakistan, was excavated in the 1920s. In the same decade, Mahinjo-Daro was excavated a little to the south, and in 1954, the city of Lotha was discovered in a western province of India. Now, what's interesting is that these cities are over 400 miles apart, but the bricks are of identical dimensions. Now, what do we make of this evidence? Is it coincidence? As historical detectives, we need to look at the facts and come up with a claim. Um, perhaps these cities knew about each other, maybe they traded with each other, or perhaps they were all part of a single civilization. Any of these claims is warranted by the evidence, but as historians, we want to see if any of those claims can be further supported with additional evidence. So back to the dig. Here you see a list of archaeological finds at these cities. As we dig through it, we're looking for something that corroborates one of our inferences above with mutually supporting evidence. Now look at this. Cities reflect urban planning. They are all laid out with major roads running north and south. If you think about it, the consistency in the planning of these cities supports the fact that they are part of a single civilization that shares standardized building methods. Our claim that these cities are part of a single civilization is now more robust. It's supported by more than one piece of evidence. Now let me model another possible argument from the evidence. The claim is this. The cities of the Indus River Valley Civilization were able to produce large surpluses of agriculture. And let me show the evidence I used to support this claim. First of all, a large number of toys were unearthed. Secondly, the archaeologists discovered a 5,000 square foot bead factory. Now, to connect my evidence to the claim, we need to remember some things we learned in the last video about surpluses and complex societies. The argument would look like this. To devote so many craftsmen to items unnecessary for survival indicates that the basic needs of the people were met. The bead factory suggests there was a division of labor into several areas of craftsmanship. Only large agricultural surpluses can free workers from food production and allow them to take on crafts such as bead production. And this is supported by the discovery of toys. A large number of toys also indicates a surplus of labor due to massive agricultural production. Look, if you don't have enough to eat, who's going to go around making beads and toys? Surpluses. Now here's your assignment. Print out a list of the archaeological findings. As you carefully read through each piece of evidence, write an inference or best guess about what each tells us about this civilization. Remember, there are a lot of uncertainties in doing history, so there's really no wrong answers here, only unsupported answers. When you're done, go back and review your inferences and write a simple one-paragraph argument on this topic. Why did the civilization of the Indus River Valley decline and fall? Now, this is different from the argument you made about metals in the previous video, because there you only needed one piece of evidence. This time, you should use a minimum of two pieces of evidence in your argument. Remember to begin with the claim and follow it up with supporting sentences that use specific archaeological information. We'll continue with argument building in the next video when we look at the rise of powerful civilizations in China, South Asia, and the Mediterranean. See you then.